The Gardener, Interact for Emergence. How does the gardener go about making a beautiful garden? Well, grass doesn't grow faster when you pull. So what you don't do is you go linearly and you say, I want this plant to be exactly the way I want. Um, but what you do is you create conditions. Fertilizer, sunlight, other plants around the, the, the decided plant to influence the growth, uh, watering and so on. So if you take this approach of the gardener into leadership, what can we come up with? The question is how can we create conditions so that things emerge? And I'd like to give you two examples of this. One is the example of staffing. So in this case, um, that's a company that I've uh, observed, I've worked for, and um, they had several joint ventures and very intense collaborations with suppliers. And very systematically, at the interface to the partners they had, to the partner company, they kept the fluctuation within boundaries, they kept the fluctuation of people as high as they could. So they tried to replace people more often than not. And once they replaced people, they very carefully looked where they could place these people who just had had the experience of working together with the other company, where they could place these people in the company so that the knowledge, the know-how that these people have learned would spread within their company. So they couldn't say how much and what because that was too too small, too precise to manage. But what they could, they could say is how can we place some brains with a certain type of experience in certain contexts in, within the company. Um, another example of in, interacting for emergence is architecture. Um, a customer of mine had uh, wanted to conduct an experiment of new kind of fancy meeting rooms, uh, very informal way uh, places where you could work, um, where there was sometimes even second-hand furniture from, you know, any kind of of places, not office furniture, and the atmosphere of that area was very interesting. But was also what was also interesting was two things. First. The place where that was was in a building with quite a few top managers. So a lot of people came from other buildings to have meetings there and then left again. And what happened is that people would often organize their day in a way that there was some time they spent working before or after these meetings in that area. The other thing is the area was outside of the boundary where you, had, you needed the pass um, the card to go to, to have access to the building so that people from outside the company also came and worked there, some startup people and so on. And while they kept an eye on it that it wasn't too many of them, and they also had to be careful of course about security, a lot of interesting conversations happened in that area and a lot of people came every now and then just to work there in order to absorb that atmosphere and to connect in, in informal ways with other interesting people. And again, what emerged from that, you couldn't predict, but you could place something there in order for interesting things to emerge. Mm -hmm.